important tips on how to fry fish do not go away hello everyone it's cooking with claudie here and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here you're very very welcomed so i'll be taking you to the seafood store where i'm going to buy a large fish and i'm going to take you through the process of frying the fish some people have issues of frying fish either it sticks to the bottom of the pot or before you're done frying the fish is already scattered like many people have troubles with frying fish well i'll be showing you step by step method don't worry this video is the end to all your fried fish worries before we jump onto the recipe please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that when i post any of my videos you're not going to miss out or you're going to stay up to date with all of my recent videos Start off by cutting out or taking out all the fins from the fish. One important tip is to cut the fish when the fish has been partially defrosted. This is because you want to have a good cut or a good alignment to cut out the fish. Sometimes some people have issues when cutting out the fish, when you're cutting out the fish where it has been fully defrosted, it just gets scattered because it's very, very soft. So just cut out your fish when it has been partially defrosted. The next point is to take out the guts from the fish when the fish is still partially defrosted. This is because you want to maintain the alignment of the fish. I don't want it to get scattered. When you are done fixing or taking out all the guts from the fish, rinse the fish with clean water, that's cold water, perfectly. Then when you're done, just let it rest at room temperature to finish the defrosting process. So the defrosting process is done. The fish is now soft and ready to cook right now what i'm going to do is just to season the fish sometimes the head part of the fish I usually take off the eyes so that it doesn't pop up like to blow out oil during deep frying for the seasoning here i'll just be using two teaspoons of no seasoning one teaspoon of seasoning salt and one teaspoon of black pepper mix everything and rub onto the fish properly and let the fish marinate for at least 30 minutes then it's ready to deep fry
another tip which is very good too is to deep fry the fish inside very very hot oil before i start frying my fish i just put in some onion inside just for flavor we we'll just fry for about a minute or two i take it out and i can fry my fish the reason you have to use very very hot oil is because it prevents the fish from sticking to the bottom it prevents the fish from scattering all over in the oil Fry the fish in deep oil for about 5 to 10 minutes, then the fish is ready to take out. If you want it extra crispy, you can let it stay inside the oil for a while again. But I just want my fish not too soft, not too crispy. So I'll just take it out from the oil after like between 5 to 10 minutes and yeah, the fish is ready to go. We are done frying the fish it looks really good and this pepper sauce i have the link on how i made this pepper sauce you're going to see the link in the description box so you can enjoy the fried fish with whatever side you like So we've come to the end of this video if you get to like this video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to share thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because i have amazing recipes in store for you all bye bye